Good noon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today, we celebrate the votive Mass in honor of St. Joseph. Please all stand as we welcome our presider, Father Danichi Wee. Entrance Antiphone, O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. In his presence are majesty and splendor, strength and honor in his holy place. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Told Almighty me. God and to you, my brothers and sisters, I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and have failed, have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence we're pleased to choose Saint Joseph, a spouse of the Holy Mother, your son, of your son. Grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In the days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. At the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel, and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement to them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 40 years. 
seven years and six months in Hebron over Judah, and 33 years in Jerusalem over all Israel and Judah. Then the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Jebusites who inhibited the region. David was told, You cannot enter here. The blind and the lame will drive you away, which was their way of saying, David cannot enter here. But David take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grows steadily more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown, over the people I have set a youth. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. I have found David my servant, with my holy oil I have anointed him, that my head may be always with him and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through the name shall his born he exalted. I will set him hand upon the sea, he right hand upon the rivers. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to life through the Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. <coughs> the scribes who had come from Jerusalem said to Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen. I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. Today, we heard the story of the rain of David. 
Narinig natin ang kwento ng paghahari ni David. If we could remember last week, after King Saul killed himself for losing the war between the Amalekites due to his disobedience to God, David is now officially becomes the king of Israel. This is what we heard in our story. The elders of the Israel went to David and anointed him and made him an agreement with them, with the Lord. Pumunta yung mga matatanda ng Israel kay David at siya'y pinahira ng langis. Nakipagkasundo siya. Gumawa sila ng kasunduan kasama ang Diyos na siya ang hihiranging hari ng Israel. This made David the king of Israel at the age of 30 years old. Bata, no? 30 years old. David became the king of Israel. And as said in our first reading, he reigned for 40 years. Apat na pung taon siyang naghari. David became powerful because the Lord of hosts was with him. Naging makapangyarihan si Haring David kasi sumasa kanya ang Espiritu ng Panginoon. Ganun talaga, no? Kapag nasa atin ang Espiritu ng Panginoon, kahit anong hirap ng isang bagay o ng sitwasyon, kayang mapagtagumpayan. Dahil anumang laban, mananaig pa din ang kabutihan laban sa kasamaan. Ganyan yung nangyari sa paghahari ni Haring David. Hindi naging madali. Maraming laban, maraming gerang hinarap, pero dahil sumasa kanya ang Espiritu ng Panginoon, dahil nanatili siya sa Panginoon, lahat ng laban na pagtagumpayan. Hindi po sinasabing madali, walang sinabing magiging madali, as David led Israel in different wars, it was not also easy. But because he remained with God, he stayed with God, he sided with God, he obeyed God, in the end, he won all the battles. Kaya sa lahat ng ating laban, Wag aalisin ang Espiritu ng Panginoon. Always side with God, no matter how hard it is. And in the end, you will win your battle. Mahirap, oh? pero always side with God. Pumanig sa Diyos. Samantala, kung si David ay tanggap na tanggap ng mga tao at hinirang pa siyang hari ng Israel, sa ating Ebanghelyo, si Jesus pinaratangan ng mga tao. Kung si David, sumasa kanya ang Espiritu ng Panginoon, si Jesus, sabi ng mga eskriba, sumasa kanya ang Espiritu ng Demonyo. Kung kay Haring David, Ang kapangyarihan, ang kapangyarihan niya ay nagmumula sa Diyos. Sabi ng mga tao, yung kapangyarihan daw ni Jesus ay nagmula kay Beelzebul, ang prinsipe ng demonyo. Kung kay Haring David, magiliw ang mga tao sa kanya, kay Jesus naging malupit ang mga tao. Nagsimula na kasi ang pampublikong ministeryo ni Jesus. 
kung si Haring David nagsimula ang kanyang paghahari sa edad na tatlong po, si Jesus sa edad din na 30 years old, nangaral, nagpagaling ng mga may sakit, nagpalayas ng mga demonyo. Ganyan si Jesus bilang leader. Nagtrabaho, kumilos, nagpagaling ng mga may sakit, nagpalayas ng demonyo at nangaral. Ganyan siya bilang leader, nagtrabaho. Kaya nga, no, yung mga pinipili nating leader, dapat nagtatrabaho, hindi pasyal ng pasyal. Ah. Eh, wag na tayo pumunta pala doon, baka mapahamak pa ako. No? <laughs> Kaya nga, yun yung naging dahilan kung bakit pinaratangan si Jesus na inaalihan ng demonyo. Pinag-isipan siya nang masama ng mga eskriba kasi walang tigil siyang mangaral, walang tigil magpagaling ng mga may sakit, walang tigil magpalayas ng demonyo. Hindi mo malaman ng tao, no? Kung insecure ba o naiinggit o baka selos. Kasi yung mga eskriba, sila yung nangangaral, sila yung magagaling, pero biglang may Jesus. Magaling, nakapagpapalayas ng demonyo. Higit sa kagalingan nila, nakakagawa ng milagro. Kaya ngayon, pinag-iisipan ng hindi maganda. Pinagsasabihan ng kung ano-ano. Minsan ng tao, hindi mo na maintindihan. Kapag wala kang ginagawa, may nasasabi. Kapag may ginagawa kang mabuti, may nasasabi pa din. Saan ka pa panig? At ang masakit nito, pinaparatangan ka pa ng kung ano-ano. <laughs> Hindi mo alam saan ka pa panig eh, no? Kaya pumanig ka lang sa Diyos. Ito yung laban na minsan mahirap ipanalo. Yung tao ang kalaban. Mas madaling ipanalo kung sitwasyon ng kalaban. Oh, katulad ng kahirapan. Oh, madali ipanalo yan eh. Magsipag ka lang, oh, magtrabaho, dagdagan mo ng dasal at pananampalataya, huwag ka mandadaya, maging tapat. Ah, mapapanalo mo yung kahirapan. Pero kapag tao ang kalaban mo, ang hirap-hirap pumanig sa Diyos. No? Lagi kang sinusubok, inuubos yung pasensya mo, no? yung kahit anong dasal mo, pagkita mo sa Kanya, no? kung ano-ano sinasabi sa iyo. Pinag-iisipan ka ng di maganda, kinakalaban ka, yung parang inuubos yung pasensya mo. Kung pwede lang sabihin, Lord, pikit ka muna, no? Bibigwasan ko lang tong isa. No? Kung pwede lang ganun eh. No? Pero hindi pwede. Kasi you should always be on the side of God. Dapat laging nasa panig ng kabutihan. Dapat laging nasa panig ng Diyos. Kaya nga, yan yung aral sa ating unang pagbasa. Ipakita mo lang na ikaw ay nasa Diyos. Kung nahihirapan na, ipagpasa Diyos. Gaya ni Haring David, sa huli, lahat ng laban ay naging maayos. Aayon sa iyo ang Diyos. Dahil kailanman hindi mananalo ang kasamaan laban sa kabutihan. My dear brothers and sisters, there will always be struggles in life. Life is a continuous battle. But if we will always have God with us, if we will always side with God, though we struggle, we will always win all the battles. Kapag nahihirapan na, kapag sinusubok na, may our responsorial psalm be our conviction and prayer. My faithfulness and mercy shall be with Him. Amen.
The scribes who have closed their hearts on Jesus said that Jesus was driving out demons in connivance with Beelzebul. Jesus said that the miracles he was doing meant rather that the power of God was at work among the people. Let us open our eyes to God's love and work in our midst. We pray and say, Lord, let us stand united with you. Lord, let us stand united with you. May the people of God stand united with the Lord and with one another so that they can resist the devil and life's tempest that threaten them. We pray. Lord, let us stand united with you. May the different Christian denominations engage in economical dialogue in response to the Lord's prayer that all may be one in Him as He and the Father are one. We pray. Lord, let us stand united with you. May we acknowledge and appreciate the good things done by people even if these do not belong to our religious or political group. We pray, Lord, let us stand united with you. May we not fall into doubt or premise, but rather open our eyes to the small miracles that the Lord works for us daily. We pray, Lord, let us stand united with you. May we acknowledge and glorify the Holy Spirit who guides, comforts, and empowers as to overcome the evil one, we pray. Lord, let us stand united with you. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Varian de Gia, and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, let us stand united with you. Almighty Father, the Spirit of your Son continues the work of the Lord Jesus for our salvation. May we open our hearts to the Spirit who empowers us to do all that is good. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of Saint Joseph, whom you called to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
as we venerate Saint Joseph and to give you fitting praise, to glorify and bless you. For this just man was given by you, a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come Thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, look toward the Lord and be radiant. Let your faces not be abash. Please all stand. Let us pray. 
Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example and intercession of Saint Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries, serve you as a man just and obedient. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks. Jesus, you're my sinisindan.